Everybody seems to have some sort of magical thing that will fix Dead by Daylight. Some sort of thing that they want more than anything that they think would turn the tide of Dead by Daylight into a positive favor. Some people think it's making the DC penalty really, really big. That way you can punish anybody. Um, a big one that I like that's been good taking the rounds lately is modifying the give up on hook uh, mechanic to only work near the end of the uh, timer. Stuff like that. But I have one that I've had for a very, very long time. A most wanted feature that I have had uh, that I think would help Dead by Daylight a lot and make things better both for learning and also catching people who are a little bit more on the, you know, hacky wacky side, you know, the cheaters, um, <laughs> which uh, unfortunately is one that doesn't really have a high chance of getting in the game, but it's something I've wanted a lot and I've wanted uh, basically ever since I've started playing Dead by Daylight. But let's talk about my most wanted Dead by Daylight feature that'll probably never come. So what is my most wanted Dead by Daylight feature that'll never come to Dead by Daylight? That is match replays. I come from a lot of other games where match replays are fairly common and in gaming in general. Uh, match replays are just kind of a thing that most games have. If there's any sort of versus component between uh, two sides, there is typically match re replays in that game now. Uh, other games I've played like Rainbow Six Siege and Street Fighter, have match replays and the reason that they have match replays is not only for entertainment value but for literally quite literally learning if you were able to replay a match uh that you just played that you just lost and you realistically just are really baffled or very very flustered and have no idea why you lost or the mistakes you made you can go back watch the the vod and be like oh okay i should have blocked there or oh hey he was around the wall and i was out of position there's a lot of things you can do with a match replay to highlight your mistakes and improve from them and dead by daylight there's a lot of things that go wrong that it's like really really hard to tell what you could have done better that's why i do the match review series here on the channel because sometimes you mess up and you genuinely don't know why or you have a really really close match that was really, really stressful and you don't know why what did i do there that made that match was stressful what did i do there that caused me to lose because i can't identify that on my own so we as both me and my my homies over on twitch.tv slash the mr where i stream every day besides thursday and sunday um mondays are when we record the match reviews we try to dissect what happened why did things go the way they did why did things either almost end up in a loss or outright ended up in a loss so you can have a better habits for the next game and smooth out those uh, bad habits that you do have by yourself in dead by daylight there's not really a way to do this like if a match just goes wrong and you can't really tell why that's it that, that, that's all she wrote. You just have to go next and try to recall the information in your head and go, hmm, I, what did I do there? I don't know. And a lot of the time, it's hard to tell. And a lot of the things that cause you to lose in Dead by Daylight are relatively minute. Just spending a little bit too much time in chase, kicking the wrong gen when there was another one available, just barely missing somebody crossing around a corner, but not leaving any scratch marks. There's a lot of really tiny things that are fairly game changing when it comes to Dead by Daylight. Purposeful kicking, that's another one we talk about a lot on the match reviews. Kicking the pallet on the side that denies the most resources. So many people will kick pallets on the side that gives them the whole map of resources to work with instead of kicking it on the side that's like up against the wall. Just little stuff like that can have such a snowball effect on the uh, rest of the match. And if you could just like go into a, a, a match replay feature and just watch the match, you can be like, man, I was really in chase with this person for a really long time. And it would be obvious to you, right? It'd put me out of business. <laughs> it, would, it would kill my match review series, but it'd be better for everybody overall, right? Uh, another great way that the uh, match replay system could be used would be to catch cheating. And this is kind of one of the big reasons that I want it is that I'm sure there's been a lot of situations where you've been playing killer and the gens just seemed slightly too fast. A little slightly too fast. Uh, flip side on, on, on Survivor, I'm pretty sure there's been plenty of times you've been playing uh, as Survivor and you've been behind a barrel or something and the killer without any sort of orienting perks just like saw where you were somehow and came right towards you and there's like no reason they realistically should have known you were there and you're just like, hmm, how did that happen? That's really, really weird. <laughs> but obviously, if you could just go back and do a match replay, you could very easily catch the act. You could be like, oh, that gen's moving really, really quickly. That is not normal gen speed. Please report that person. Or, hmm, that killer after hooking that person snapped to this random corner of the map with no aura reading and just W keyed there. Clearly, they're wall hacking. <laughs> It'd be very, very easy to tell, very, very easy to spot if you just had a match replay system. Now, I understand that there are people that will, like, always accuse people of cheating anytime anything goes wrong uh, that they don't like. And those people will always be in the game. But I think this would serve to help a lot by cutting down on reports because there are people in the middle who are reasonable, 
who generally just do get confused on whether, hey, was that a, a real, like, efficient team, or was that actually cheating, who would now have a resource to just go in and look and be like, oh, okay, like, they just had a lot of gen perks and they just split up really well, so I don't have to send that report because they could just go in and see it. Or on the flip side, be like, oh, okay, it was it was the Zarina that was cheating. So I'm just going to I'm gonna report Zarina and not the rest of them. It would cut down on reports and make a behavior's job easier on the back end. Now, here comes the lane part because behaviors unfortunately said before that it'd be far too difficult for them to implement a match replay system since they did not create the game with one in mind so essentially they're they're saying too complicated too hard and we have no plans to implement it into the game which is an extreme shame considering how helpful uh, of a tool would be like we've talked about having to do with helping people learn the game and improve from their mistakes and also catching cheaters um and I think it just shows, unfortunately, another way that Dead by Daylight, despite the fact that it has been a game that has been around for so long, even by 2016 standards, was still fairly behind in terms of what kind of game they were making. Of course, everybody knows, somebody's going to be already typing the comment before I even finish the sentence, <laughs> is that, yeah, Behavior didn't really expect Dead by Daylight to take off. They didn't want it to be their main game. It was supposed to be just another project. But unfortunately, it did. And the fact that they thought so little about the things that they would need for a game like this and implemented so little we're still feeling those echoes years and years and years and years later of wow this really is a game just made out of spaghetti code and broken dreams just trying its best to barely function every single day and there's something endearing about that about the little engine that could <laughs> you know but um realistically it's it really hampers the experience a lot and it's little stuff like this that's not impossible to implement there have been plenty of games that have started without a match review system and got one later it just isn't on their radar at all which is really unfortunate and you know it's dead by daylight so like maybe if you match replayed a match you just played then nurses blinks would stop working for every player for the next month like everything's tied together in the spaghetti code so who knows what that would break <laughs> just by implementing that but i would still want it because it would still help players improve overall it would help us catch cheaters it's just like it's just a helpful nice thing and it's one of those things that like um there's so many issues in dead by daylight when it comes to well the game's just too old the, the code's just too bad that we just can't do the most basic quality of life things like having not a lot of bugs having a match replay system having stuff like that that a lot of this won't get fixed unless they just make another game um would they not just make it the same way <laughs> that's the worry would they not just make it in the same jank and struggle that this game already has it's not like behaviors other games are free of jank or free of uh, issues <laughs> and performance issues like this is just a thing that they have issues with in general so would it be better if they made another one who knows but that feels like it's starting to get into another video yeah that's my most wanted dbd feature that'll never come just match replays help us learn help us catch cheaters but they've said themselves that they don't really want to do it so yeah that sucks <laughs> yeah what is your favorite feature that you would like to see in dbd whether it's realistic it'll come or not let me know down in the comments below but on that it's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching but if i do not see you in tomorrow's daily upload i will see you when i see you goodbye